We're waiting for bloody little Mickey. He's left me here to do all the work and I've opened the cut up. I think I've got to dig deeper here, but this is a good indication that it's going to be something there. Now we've just got to mine it out. We are struggling. We need to find Opal. It's, it's getting to a point where we're in rock bottom. It's the final days of their mining season. And as the mercury climbs beyond 40 degrees Celsius, making machines inoperable, Joe Taranto, with brother Mickey and his wife Viviani, have one last chance to find Opal. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey, how are you? It's very hot, but we have to break rocks. And hopefully we hit the big one, huh? We're getting snowed under, so we've got to push that dirt out of the way, so we've got more room to put the dirt. It's all playing up. It's slipping out of gear all the time. I couldn't even get the dirt up the ramp here. Hey, Mickey, it's, it's slipping out of gear all the time. Ah, we'll have to get it out of the cut. The Taranto's bulldozer is blocking an opal level. With the clutch failing, Mickey will need to drag the 47-ton machine out of the open cut with the excavator by the ripper and hydraulic arms. Big deal, it's a worry. I mean, you've got four big rams there. Each one is like $10,000. There's $40,000 there. If we get this wrong, we'll be blowing our money. All the open we found will be done. Let's gear real bad, real quick. Try and grab me from there. If I slid the wrong way, I'll smash the range. Hey, Mickey, stop, stop! What the f are you doing? Slipped off. You hit the ridge. Move it, get hook up on move. Keep moving, Mickey, keep moving. On the last dig of the season, the Taranto brothers are dragging their broken 47-tonne bulldozer out of their open-cut mine, where it was blocking an opal level. If the excavator teeth slip, it could damage the $40,000 dozer rams attached to the ripper Mickey is pulling it from. All right, keep up it! That was nerve-wracking. We got it out anyway. Let's oh. a few scratch score marks. I was worried about that time you hit the ram. Yeah, I scored it. That one there. It's here. Yeah, all right. Yeah. It was close, but. Hey, guys, are we ready to roll? Let's dig some opal out. The lucky goat reckons it's over there. Well, the depth of it definitely creates a safety aspect because of the overhanging rocks. There's a few loose ones here. I've already pointed them out to the guys. Helmet won't save you. It's pretty dangerous. The top part's not, not safe. It's a lot of hard work, and there's many years of no payday and no reward, and you wonder at times, should we be doing something else? Joe, we've got a bit of colour. Uh, Come down. I better go and find some colour. It runs through. It's on the other side as well. This is indication we've got trace. It's good trace. It's good to see Mickey's doing his job. Look at this, Joe. Nice cavities. Looks like might be something in this. Oh, sh Are you OK? Joe's got something in his eye. You right, Joe? Uh, Come on, we'll get sorted out. Do you want to just have a look for me? Yeah, we'll go. We've got all the first aid kit up here. I want you. To... Do you want to have a look for me? No, we'll go up. Yeah, it looks bad. Come on, we've got to go up. Damn, this is hurting. Must be bad. Joe never winters. It just keeps cool. grinding. We might have to go into town. Hang on, I'll just put this mat down. Here, These gloves are. Just lay on that, Joe. I'm not going to lie. I can just do it here, down. Just... No, I need you to lay down so I can look into your eye, please. I'm going to rinse the eye out first with some water. <sighs> Once I rinse your eye out, then I can have a good look in there. Oh, Tash, can you hurry up? Let's get this thing out. I want to get this out so we can get back down there and find some opal. OK, Joe. Right. Your eye's more important than finding opal right now. 
Okay, we've got our hard hats on. You can actually see a bit of a gutter. It's not a bad, bad look up there, right? Eh? See that? Need to go down and check it. Nice rock. It's the best rock of the whole ground yet. Really? That is? Yeah. Look, here's a butterfly. The butterflies come when there's moisture in the ground. Whenever we're on opal, we get a whole heap of butterflies coming. So we've just had a butterfly before, which is interesting. Something unusual going on, eh? Hey? It looks good. Table and let's check it out. Yeah, let's 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 see what we got, hey, and give it a price. Look at that, that's beautiful. That's, that's already special. face, that's special. That's amazing. Hey Vivi, look at this one. I love this one. This okay. is with the colours I love, that gem green blue. The Tarantos have Boulder Opal, featuring the full spectrum of colours with traces of rare Harlequin pattern. It's in the rough and weighs 40 kilograms. Well, we're going to work a value here, um, I think, conservatively, it's 50,000 way it is. I can see that easy. Minimum on the face value is 50,000. And you will cut them into beautiful gems. And you're getting double your money for every time. So just on that, on that thought, that's 100 grand. What a great end of the season. Cheers. <laughs> I believe this happened on the last day. It is a fairy tale, isn't it? The way it just turned out at the end. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Couldn't ask for better. I reckon this could be just the beginning, guys. Yeah, you know, open mining's a hard business to be in, and you're always up against a lot of challenges, you know. And as long as you've got your family, your health, you've got good spirits, you've got a chance of finding more opal. 